Hi, you guys. Um, it's March 10th, 2019, and I think this must be about week nine. Um, as y'all know, I've been working on this massive DIY home makeover project, so my vlogging has um, been a lot of backtracking. Um, so I just want to give an update. The last time I vlogged was probably two weeks ago, and that's when I vlogged about feeling myself spiraling into depression. And um, I was addressing like being diagnosed with depression and also like being diagnosed with ADHD and medication and like just cognitive behavioral therapy and how, you know, what that looks like in other methods that um, I used. So this week, I'm not in depression. I mean, you know, and the things that I did was I rested, I listened to myself, I hung out with my friends, I hung out with my son, um, I did some things that um, were important around the house and for work. I participated in this challenge that my cousin had. It was a one week accountability challenge and it was like goal setting and I found that that was actually very helpful for me because it allowed me to gain control over like my actions even if I didn't meet all my goals at least I was striving and then being having other people that you're accountable to it kind of like makes you check in and like I said even vlogging which is the form of journaling you know allows you to check in or track your progress or where you are so over the last two weeks I worked on my nutrition I worked on my rest I worked on my passions and hobbies my social relationships and my int interpersonal intimate relationships and um, I communicated well and I spoke my mind but also within that I also had a couple breakdowns like I got in a huge fight with my boyfriends like massive um, I was late and stuff for work a lot I um, had very low moods I drank a lot like so you know it was very much so a struggle like a yin and yang yin and yang you know and um, I'm just gonna share some of these moments the ups and the downs but the key is is that as I was seeing myself display unhealthy coping skills and unhealthy coping mechanisms I was able to immediately address them and to correct them to the best of my ability and to be accountable for my actions and to be present so that was a major task for me um, you'll see me talking about um, what it looks like to be aware to make sure you're noticing when you're being triggered and I have some little like memes that my cousin shared with me and I'll post her Instagram down below again um, cuz you know I shout out the people who are influential in that particular blog so um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was like your shadow side so I did a lot of research with Teal Swan talking about your shadow side and I used to when I was drinking a lot and I had gone to that big fight with my boyfriend to me I thought like my negative behaviors were my shadow side but in reality it's like it's actually your side that you've suppressed and that way you can um, enlighten those areas of your life you know like you having depression or anger 
you know, those are the symptoms that brings attention to those areas. But it's those areas themselves that are the shadow sides, not the behaviors. And um, I thought that was important to address because, you know, with us doing our shadow work, that's us working through ourselves and working through the way we process and working through our personalities and things like that. So therefore, I think it was really important that that one realization was it's not the behavior or the response. It's the area that's being enlightened. That's important to note and notate. So, all right, well, I'm going to like just share a little clips from the last two weeks and then um, that's it. I just want you guys to check out Teal Swan. If you guys are on IG, check me out on IG and also check out my cousin on IG. And take care of yourselves and keep your heads up and, you know, be aware and be focused and be intentional and to um, take control and take strive, whether it's allowing yourself to rest, taking care of your health and nutrition, speaking your mind and processing your emotions, um, noticing when things are spiraling out of control, having control over your vices and your addictions and your, um, you know, your, your ways of balancing your social life versus like checking, checking out and not really processing things and numbing yourself. So all those tools, um, you know, taking care of your personal well-being, mind, body, soul, and your physical being, you know, like making sure you're continuing to notice if you're over perfect or if you're like under perfect as far as grooming goes, you know, if you're putting up a, a facade or if you're like noticing you're like, man, I am like slumming it lately, you know, and just to become aware. And those are all the tools that I used in the last two weeks. Um, communication skills, um, not allowing the really important things to be discounted and to be able to put up boundaries and say, well, if you're not going to respect these boundaries or you're not going to be able to be present in the way that, you know, I am asking you to be and not in a, manip in a manipulative way, but in just like a purely genuine way in a relationship, in a reciprocated relationship, then it's okay to like create some boundaries and like take a step back and just kind of like focus on loving yourself a little bit more and just fulfilling some of these areas or whatever within your own self um also just staying connected you know giving yourself time to rest without shutting all the way down so my next vlogs, I will be showing more of the DIY. I've got some awesome DIY things because I did some fun crafts this week, which is part of like the things that I do to channel and process and in, in like release. It's also my life passion. I did some music. I played a little bit on this app called Schmuel. I shared that video. I'll put a tiny snippet in here, but I shared the whole little Schmuel thing. Um, other than that, Next week, or this week, current week, I'm starting up the turpentine cleanse. So please be careful if you guys decide to do a cleanse. I've done um, cactus and aloe smoothies as well. So next week, this coming up next vlog, it'll be more so wrapping up my whole like DIY house transformation and talking a little bit more about this parasite cleanse and you know, getting, just moving on, you know, like just getting out of that rut and moving on. Like we don't have to stay there forever. We don't have to stay in depression. That doesn't have to be who you are. Like you could be like, Hey, something's bothering me. Something's on my mind. I'm tired, whatever. Deal with it and move on. We don't have to be stuck there for months and years at a time. It's time to just like move it on. And I think that's the takeaway move on don't stay in depression you don't have to whether you need to go to therapy whether you need your medication whether you need to take care of yourself whether you need to get some rest whether you need to go hang out with your friends whether you need to take care of your family whether you need to speak your mind put up some boundaries like all the above set some goals get some accountability partners um vlog like all those things but you, the one thing is that 
You don't have to stay in depression. Face those shadows. Heal, love, grow, and be awesome. All right, y'all. Well, here's a little cup, couple snippets from the last couple weeks. And I'll see you guys next week on Transform Our Lives in a Year. Notice when you start to feel bad. How are you looking? Because a lot of people who go in depression look great. And I happen to not be one of those people. I happen to be the type that be like noticing when I start to get into depression, when I'm like slumming it, I'm not even really putting that much effort into getting dressed. I'm in sweats all the time. Like I'm not even like taking time to like do my level of self-expression. Whereas some people, you have to be careful because some people, their way of depression looks different. Like it looks like looking really perfect, um, hiding, hiding the fact that something's wrong. You know, like it may not be like, oh my God, my space and my appearance is starting to get cluttered and unkept. It's like, sometimes it's too kept and it's too perfect. And then you're so like anxious. You're like, nothing can be out of place. Nothing can get unperfect because then you'll unravel. And that's not healthy either. Either or, it's like you have to learn which one is yours and love yourself through it and accept yourself and be like, you know what? I feel myself starting to unravel. It's time for me to take some time and just like do what works for me. All right, well, week seven, week six slash seven, still going on. And I still have tomorrow and I still have after work. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Hi, you guys. Remember yesterday I was saying that I was feeling very tired and worn out? Well, today I'm going to, I'm getting a petty mani petty to replenish myself. And I did condition my hair and I did a mask. Hi, you guys. Where are we at, Kayvon? Many things. It's Mother's Sun night, and we're about to play some games. Yeah, I'm about to go on that thing. All right, here's the score. Yomo is beating us. Kayvon had to try to get his hair tied. I have to get my hair tied. Okay, let's see Yomo. Let's see Yomo's turn, y'all. Who's winning? I think it's me. Yes! Every day I wanna tell you